see where you want it to go. And I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to name it New Fuzzy Test. And then I have a folder specifically for my videos. So then I would just hit export. And it might be laggy when it shows the video. That's perfectly normal. It's just loading. Uh, that's fine. And it just keep it shows it, and you just gotta wait for it to finish exporting. It exports uh, as a QuickTime video, so pretty much it'll be like if you save this to your desktop, it'll be there. I saved it in the folder, and I'll show you exactly how to get to it if you save it in the folder. Go ahead and get out of Keynote. You don't need that anymore. You don't need to save it. Go into Finder, and then wherever you found it. If it's on your desktop, it'll be over here. But for me, it's in here. Um, and so my videos, and there it is. New fuzzy test. And then so I'm going to play it, just make sure it's what I want, and that's what I want. And then I can get rid of that, it's still in there saved. So if that's fine with you guys, then you can just use it and upload it to whatever video you're going to use it for. But if you want to edit it and make it shorter or uh, add videos to the uh, other parts of it or add music, then you're going to want to go into iMovie, hit File, Import Movies. And you know what? Yeah, let me get out of this quick. My bad. Let me start a new project just for this so I don't screw anything up. Okay, and then go ahead and hit File. No. Yeah. What the heck? And iMovie File, Import, Movies. And then find out where it was. Mine was Fuzzy uh, New Intro, a new Fuzzy Test. So it was. So I'm going to import it, and then it shows it down here. Uh, once it imports. And then here it is. Show in 10 seconds. You can play it over like this. If you want to play it for real, just press the space bar and it plays it where your mouse is. So, anyway. Um, now I want to move this clip, so just click on that clip, just that clip, just click on it just one time yellow box should show up. Just go ahead and drag the yellow box to where you want it. I want it to I want I want it to end like right after that. So this is all you see in it. That's the clip itself. Just do that. Okay. And then so go ahead and click and hold the hold the clip and then drag it. Um and then it's up here. If you want to add music like I did, um Go ahead and uh, add the song. Um, should be in your iTunes library if that's what you're going to use. It's the easiest. Um, okay, we can use. Uh, let's use this. So go ahead and drag it up to here, and then it's going to show it up here. So you're going to want to click that, and then hit Clip Trimmer, and then this shows all your audio. And you don't want a lot of audio, obviously. It's way too long. So go ahead and just click on the yellow down here and drag it. If the yellow isn't showing up, just click it anyway. I'm going to mute this. Sorry about that. Um, and then go ahead and scroll up with your mouse or however you're using it. Okay, now that it's here, um, you want to find a part that you like. So for me... Um, Okay, I like that. Okay, so then right here I would change it to that. By the way, I'm using uh, Paramore's Crush, Crush, Crush. Um, good song. Check it out, guys. Um, so then once you have it there, you can go up here, and you can uh, you can just click out of that. And then you click this button, and it plays it kind of full screen. So... And that's what it does. So then escape and then get out of there. And then uh, you guys want to save it to like as a as like a, a video. Just make sure the project is highlighted. This is my project, obviously. And then share and then uh, media browser and then save it in whatever you like. I have it set for HD, so that's fine. And then publish, and then it'll publish it to uh, you know wherever you want. And and you can use it in your videos. Um, I'll show you my other 
Actually, yeah, you guys will see it at the beginning of this video, so that doesn't matter. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe.